I'm a 24-year-old guy, and I've been dating my 22-year-old girlfriend for about a month. When we first met, we hit it off and liked each other immediately. However, something has been bothering me. Before we officially started dating, she hooked up with another guy she met just a few days before. Welcome to the Hallet Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, she slept with him, now she's not ready for me. But before embarking on an expedition to knowledge and many people's bad life choices, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. I received this email from a subscriber, and his situation is a really good lesson on how so many men are manipulated by women who are not interested in you and how they keep you around to feed their need for attention and validation and to be their super simp ATM. Dear Magic, I'm a 24-year-old guy, and I've been dating my 22-year-old girlfriend for about a month. When we first met, we hit it off and liked each other immediately. However, something has been bothering me. Before we officially started dating, she hooked up with another guy she met just a few days before. They weren't even in a relationship, but now that we're together, she's asked me to wait until she's ready to be intimate. Slap to the back of the head. Uh, buddy, I'm sorry. However, this tells you everything you need to know how she really feels about you. Let me break this down for you. She will screw Chad and Tyrone because she sees them as the hot guy and you are the safe, nice guy she can put on layaway for when it doesn't work out. In other words, you are her backup plan, her second choice. You're the guy she gets to pay for dinners, dates, and gifts. However, she has no burning desire for you. If she did, she would have smashed your brains out already. In other words, you are the safe, controllable beta provider she could marry to pay the bills while she gets the exciting guy who gives her the tingles on the side. While trying to be understanding, I'm starting to doubt her feelings for me. Gee, ya think? I've been the lover boy type, showing her a lot of interest, but it feels like she's pulling away. Well, dude, as Shakespeare would say, aye, there's the rub. You say lover boy type. I would say way too needy and accommodating. Forget what women tell you. Pay attention to what they do. They say they want a nice guy an attentive guy, and when they get it, many are repulsed by it instinctively. At the end of the day, the most women pursue the guy who is indifferent because he's a challenge to her. He's a mystery to solve. As a rule, too willing and accommodating men perceived as weak, and if a woman perceives you as weak, she will not respect you. And if she doesn't respect you, she will not love you. The best you can hope for is to be used until something better comes along. She often leaves messages on delivered for hours, claiming she fell asleep, but then continues to do the same things repeatedly. Slap to the back of the head. Well, no wonder she treats you like crap. You've taught her to do so. She keeps you around for attention and validation. 
Now and again, she throws you a little crumb and you come running like a little bitch. How many different ways does she have to show you she's not interested in you? She is attracted to the other guy because she screwed him from the get-go. And that guy is not you. I know she still likes me. Slap to the back of the head. Are you desperate, delusional, or both? No, she doesn't like you. How many different ways can she show you? I like her too, but I'm starting to feel emotionally drained and stressed. Part of me wants to break up, but I'm conflicted. Is it too soon to end things since we've already been together for a month? Slap to the back of the head. You should have ended it the moment she made it clear she was willing to screw the other guy as soon after meeting him and not you. Newsflash. The fact is, she did that automatically made her ineligible for marriage classification because the studies have been done. Your chances of a successful marriage with her would have been poor from the beginning. You need to get your head out of your desperate ass and see what is there and not what you wish it to be. I also don't want to hurt her because she's an emotional person and tends to cry easily. Slap to the back of the head. Lesson time here, guys. This is a form of manipulation to teach you not to hold her accountable and to be the nice and validate her delusions. If you find yourself in a relationship where you cannot tell a woman the truth, you have to put it delicately and, you have to, and if you have to walk on eggshells around her, then frankly, you are the bitch, not her. I don't know if I'm overthinking things or if these are red flags I should ignore. What should I do? Okay. What should you do? End this. Lesson time here, guys. What I hope you take away from today's video. Let me share what I see. By the way, since this is YouTube and Rumble, I have to do the following disclaimer. I am not a professional, and this is in no way to be taken as a diagnosis. It is my personal opinion and life observations, and is for entertainment purposes only. This brother is too emotionally invested in a woman who doesn't reciprocate that level of investment, leading to an imbalance of power in the relationship. He shows signs of seeking validation and approval by pri prioritizing her feelings over his boundaries and standards. In fact, he is hesitant to break up due to concerns for her emotional state. Despite being stressed and doubting her interest, which reflects an underlying fear of lost and being alone. This dynamic is often seen as a man prioritizing a woman's emotions over his dignity. This is what happens when you put a woman on a pedestal. When a woman is on a pedestal, she is looking down on you, not up to you, as she wants to instinctively on a primal level. Look, popular culture, rom-coms, and Disney movies are a constant source of indoctrination to a series of beliefs that more often than not will end badly for most men. He needs to stop pedalizing her and start focusing on his own values and self-respect by allowing her to dedicate the terms of the relationship, wanting S-word fun, tolerating her mixed signals. He's ceding control. He should focus on his own self-improvement, not invest in someone who is not equally invested. Her actions, such as sleeping with another man while showing interest in him and asking him to wait for S-word fun, signals a lack of genuine interest or attraction towards him. Sure, 
One could argue this legitimately reflects female hypergamy, where she seeks to secure a more dominant and higher value male. Her inconsistent communication and dismissive behavior, leaving messages on delivered without replying, could be interpreted as her testing him or keeping him as a backup option. The next lesson here is her use of emotional vulnerability, such as crying over everything, which I see as a tactic, conscious or unconscious, to manipulate him into staying in the relationship out of guilt or fear of hurting her, despite the negative impact on him. His willingness to tolerate disrespectful behavior screams low self-esteem and fear of abandonment. Guys like this doubt their own value and end up prioritizing her happiness, keeping her to feeling secure in the relationship. The final thing I see here, and you all can take a lesson from it, is his emotional fatigue coupled with a hesitation to break up despite obvious red flags, points to an, an anxious attachment style that he has. This is characterized by fear of rejection, difficulty in setting boundaries, and excessive need for reassurance. How many of you, this sounds familiar? Yeah, I'm talking to you, buddy. If you can relate to the inability to assert yourself despite feeling disrespected, this suggests you and him are one of those struggling to enforce boundaries, which is a key element in maintaining a healthy relationship dynamic. My brother, you need to stop dating because this is going to happen to you over and over again. I'm going to give it to you straight. The problem is not her. The problem is you. Therefore, you need to get your ass to the gym, boxing club, or even take up a martial art. There is positive emotion in motion. Building up your body is the first step to changing your mind. Next, find a male therapist and address your attachment issues. Meanwhile, focus your energies on finding your purpose, your career, or a hobby. A man with a single drive, ambition, and focus is a lot more attractive to a woman than a man who is not. The latter is to be used and kept as a mere convenience and a source of attention and validation and being her ATM. If you are one of the unsubscribed viewers, 89.4% of you, who watch me and find value in this channel, it's time to show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who need to learn from my channel. Confession is good for the soul. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send it to the link or the article to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these if you're watching on YouTube and enjoy another one right now. Until next time.